What if the next global blackout didn't come from war, but from the sun? Why do our biggest threats sometimes come from 93 million miles away? History says the sun already hit us hard. Are we ready for round two of solar storms? The 1859 Carrington event fried telegraph lines and equipment. Telegraph operators even received dangerous electric shocks that night. Sparks flew from failed telegraph equipment across stations auroras lit the sky as far south as the Caribbean. Scientists now warn this kind of event could happen again. In 2013, NASA-linked studies examined extreme solar storm probabilities. They estimated roughly a 12% chance per decade of a direct hit. Today, satellites in orbit are highly vulnerable to solar storms. GPS signals can be knocked out or severely scrambled by storms. Megagrids could fail, leaving whole regions without power. Militaries now practice protecting gear with Faraday cages. Utilities run blackout drills to prepare for outages. Governments quietly build hardening programs, the so-called solar shield. This isn't sci-fi, it's practical and necessary preparedness. The question isn't if, it's only a matter of when. If a massive geomagnetic storm fries high-voltage transformers, cities could go dark for weeks or months. Remember, when the lights go out again, there's no reboot button.